Hey YouTube, this is Drew Howden Tech here to show you how to tell if you have a UEFI BIOS or legacy BIOS. So why would you want to do this? Maybe you want to install Linux on your system. You need to find out whether your BIOS is UEFI or legacy so you know how to configure your dual boot. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Unfortunately, since this is on my physical machine, I cannot do my screen capture, so I'm hoping that will matter too much to you. But anyway, first thing you want to do is go into your BIOS setup utility. So you want to first turn on your computer by hitting your power button, and then you want to press your BIOS key. You might have to repeatedly press it. BIOS key is F2. It should bring up your BIOS. Then you're going to want to go to boot. If it gives you a boot mode option, it's either UEFI or legacy. You might call this legacy support. Your BIOS might call this legacy boot mode, but or something like that. But if your BIOS allows you to choose UEFI or legacy, then it's definitely UEFI. So pay attention to which setting this is on. Don't change it, obviously. If it's on UEFI, follow instructions for UEFI BIOSes. If it's on legacy, then follow the instructions for legacy BIOSes. If you don't have this option, then we need to figure out whether your system is booting into UEFI or legacy. So then you go to exit and just exit discarding changes. So then just let your system boot. Okay, so now that I've booted my system, I, c I can now do screen recording. But anyway, the easiest way to find out if Linux booted into UEFI or legacy is by going into your files. And by the way, I'm using the Nautilus file manager. I'm going to click other locations, computer. Then go to Sys, Firmware, EFI. Now, if you do not see an EFI folder in the Sys Firmware directory, then your system booted into legacy. If you do see an EFI directory, then and your system booted into EFI. So then, if your system booted into legacy, then you'd follow the instructions for legacy. If your system booted into EFI, then you'd follow instructions for EFI. Next, I'm going to show you how to find out if Windows booted into UEFI or Legacy. An easy way to find out if Windows booted into UEFI or Legacy is on your lock screen, click Power, and hold down the Shift key as you click Restart, and then keep holding down the Shift key until I say so. Okay, so now right now you're holding down the Shift key. Keep holding it. Okay, then once you see this blue screen, you can let go of your shift key. Then you're going to go to Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, and then look for a UEFI Firmware Settings option. Which, you know, it might be in re more recovery options. But if you do see a UEFI Firmware Settings option, then Windows booted into UEFI. If you don't see it, then Windows booted into Legacy. Again, if your system booted into UEFI, follow the instructions for UEFI BIOSes. If your system booted into Legacy, follow instructions for Legacy BIOSes. Oh, and by the way, if you have a Mac or a Chromebook, then you have neither a UEFI BIOS nor a Legacy BIOS, because Macs and Chromebooks actually use their own EFI firmware chip, if you know what I mean. But that is how you find out if you have a UEFI BIOS or Legacy BIOS. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, found it was helpful, hit the like button, share this video with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment.